Good morning, guys. I know it's been a while since I've been on, uh, made a video here. What you have today is an, a few original AMT annual pickup trucks that Mike Mullen sent me. Um, where he wanted some short beds. So, these kits were originally out in 1960 and in 1963, and they were never offered in um, a step side or um, a short bed. They were offered in a tow truck, um, some car carriers, and, and what have you. Um, they'd come with a soapbox derby car or a camper um, and things of that sort. Most of them at one point were paired up with um, a trailer. Um, here we're looking at the 63 and I'm just showing all the original plastic prior to uh, me downsizing them. Um, this took about a week, yeah about a week to do um, both trucks. Um, the 60 Ford is my favorite of the early AMT kits so with that I started with that one first um, you can see Mike sent me some very very nice original items almost guilty of gut wrenching cutting them up but it's plastic um, I give my my friend um, what he wanted and this is what he wanted so here I took some measurements um, of what a six foot bed would be um, in relationship to the long bed and to where I needed to make the cuts and you can see on the body I marked off um, where I was going to do the cutting and then here you'll see um, the separation of the bed and the body the earlier AMT trucks um, everything was molded in um, the bed was always one piece to the body um, here you can see I removed the sections that I need to be removed and then the parts are cleaned up here I'm just showing you you know the cleaned up parts here would be the individual pieces that I removed I even clean up the pieces that we cut off just to ensure that everything is nice and even in case I needed it back. There's the rear panel. Here are the side panels. I always clean up my parts to get the best fitting when it comes back together. Um, here's the back side of the rear panel. Now on this next set of pictures, I always test fit. So these right here are just taped together at this point. Just with some clear tape to, you know, see what we're getting at. There you can see the tape. It looks a little rough and off, but it's just masking tape for like Christmas gifts. I always test fit. I recommend that everybody else test fit before you do your glue so that way if you needed to clean something up or something, you know, trim it down just a little bit, you're not wasting your glue and you're not damaging um, your project. So always dry fit, test fit, however you want to call it. Here I have an, a resin shorty already and I was sizing it up. This right here, I'm just showing the wheelbase it, it, so you can get a, a glance at the wheelbase. <laughs> now that I got the body in a situation, I go to the chassis and you can see on the chassis I've marked the areas to be um, cut and removed as well. Here is the chassis back together after the cuts. And then I was just showing pictures of what I removed. 
and there it is back together underneath the shortened body. Now when you do a, a pickup like this, the earlier AMT trucks, the bed inserts were separate, so you have to short those also. But you could short those at the end and at the front and back versus down the middle, like the bed and chassis. Now this next set of pictures will be it actually coming together, being glued together and everything set. Just really, really enjoy this style of truck. It takes some patience to get everything lined up and working, but once you get it all together, the end results are astonishing on these. To have an all plastic, Short bed original 1960 Ford cannot be bought. You, this has to be done like the way I've done it. Now here it is. I put the chassis in it, a set of Steve Zimmerman wheels under it, and just giving you guys a quick overview look of what your what it looks like once you would get it done. Now again, this is done all with super glue and baking soda. There's no body filler um, in here. I wanted to keep it as original as I could. Now mind you, it still needs to be primered and then you know you might have some fine tuning to do with it. But I'm not building these for Mike. I was just doing the, the bed shops and the chassis shops. I was just converting these into a short bed. Um, Mike entrusted me um, with these kits to um, do the cuts and he had seen other projects that I've done and um, I'm glad I could be there for Mike. Now here's the 63 Ford. The difference between the 61 and 62 is they don't have that upper body molding that the 63 has. There is a resin short bed out of the 61 through 62 body but Mike wanted a 63 short bed so he sent me this and I proceeded to cut it up for him there again you can see I always pre-mark where am I going to make my cuts and then I write on there what needs to be removed here it is I've gotten it cut and I sent Mike these pics, and I was like, uh, no turning back now. You sure you wanted a short bed? <laughs> and there's the short bed back together. I didn't do as many steps with this one as I did with the 60. Um, the 60 was the first one I'd done. But here, I'm, I put it back together. You can see the line on the bed where I need to cut the floor bed out. Here I was just, you know, giving the overview of the cuts and the way everything's were. Um, I'm matching the resin short bed 62 next to the short bed I cut up on the 63, just to show Mike that the, uh, the same length. Then here it is. I'm cutting and making the bed fit the new uh, thing of the body, and there you go. And then this last set of pictures here, I, I put it underneath a, a different set of Steve Zimmerman wheels. Um, Steve offers some very, very beautiful subjects um, when it comes to our hobby on the wheels and tires. The only downside is he only sells from Facebook or at contest. Thank you guys for following me. Um, thank you, Mike, for giving me the chance to build these for you. Um, you guys have a good one. This is Minnie, and I'll be back with more later. Thanks for following.